Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. As you know, as you've probably figured out for yourself, Tom was、uh, on vacation for a while there, so I had a different partner. We are loving Tom back, though. So anyway, we'll move on to shrimp fishing. Hooked on shrimp fishing, I do enjoy eating shrimp. I mean, just so you know, we grew up and shrimp was always non-count. You、mm. would never say, "Oh, I ate a lot of shrimps." Tonight, no, that's weird.、Hmm. But、uh, I do see people putting S's on it. Don't do it. Go old school, which means do the right grammar. I think we're getting lazier and lazier in the U.S. and here with our languages, Chinese or English. I know people are getting lazy and they're not careful about what they、careful. write. Yeah, indeed. I-, I hate to be a party pooper here, but party according、pooper. to yeah, according to my dictionary here, you can put an S on、you、the end of、now. shrimps. It's recognized、they、as correct、in. usage, but they like fontila.、Yeah, I just don't like it. We don't do that. It's <laughs>、yeah. the same with moose or deer、artwork. or elk. We don't say artworks、sheep. either. Yeah, yeah. You don't put an S on those things. Shrimp, you don't. Although crabs, you do. It's crabs weird, you can. Yeah, but weird, shrimp,、huh? uh, we tend not to. I'm gonna be you know old school. Here and not put the s on that. So our writer here also uses shrimp as both singular and plural without、okay. the s there.、Hmm. So yeah, bear with us here. So in any case, we are hooked on shrimp fishing. Of course, that's a popular activity here in、yeah. Taiwan. I think it was more popular in the past, but it's still going strong in some parts of the island. So it's something you can do. I've never done it myself, and I'm going to learn something today. So let's get to it, everybody. Let's read the contents of our lesson one time. When you're looking for a truly one-of-a-kind experience in Taiwan, nothing beats indoor shrimp fishing. Going shrimp fishing with friends makes for a great day out. It's a unique pastime with a delicious result. The roots of shrimp fishing date back to the early 1980s, when shrimp farmers in Pingdong County started allowing people to fish in their outdoor pools. In the late 1980s. Shrimp fishing pools moved indoors and expanded into urban areas. Since then, shrimp fishing has become a favorite form of entertainment for city residents. It's relatively simple to master the art of shrimp fishing, though some skill and lots of patience are required. Once you have the equipment, find a spot around the murky pool, then attach your bait to the hook at the end of your fishing line, keeping a firm grip on the rod. Toss the line into the pool and wait for the float to disappear under the water. It's a good sign that there's a shrimp going after your bait. Carefully lift your line out of the water, take the shrimp off the hook, and keep it in your net until you're ready to eat. Finally, you've arrived at the best part of the shrimp fishing experience. Skewer your freshly caught shrimp and season them with salt. All that's left is to stick them on the grill. If you haven't caught enough to make a meal, There's no need to worry. There are plenty of tasty shrimp dishes on the menu to satisfy any appetite and cap off a great night. Why not grab some friends and head to a shrimp fishing pool sometime soon? Okay, folks, let's take a look at the title. We have a verb phrase here. You're hooked on something. If you're addicted to it. You're obsessive about it. You could say, "I'm hooked on online shopping." Sometimes I have to take a little break from shopping online, mostly Amazon, because they now ship things. A lot of things they'll ship to Taiwan, which I love. But anyway, you can be hooked on something bad for you too. We actually first started using this "hooked on" to talk about people who were addicted to drugs. Bad drugs like heroin, methadone, cocaine. If you're hooked on heroin, ooh, that's not a good thing. But here, it's a fun thing. If you're hooked on shrimp fishing, just means this is someone who really enjoys it, and you know, kind of wants to do it quite often because it's so enjoyable to them. And another phrase that means the same thing is to be addicted to something.、Uh-huh. You might be addicted to heroin or addicted to love, as the old Robert Palmer. Her song was、yeah. maybe you should face it. You're addicted to love. He didn't say hooked on love, but here hooked on shrimp is being used here. 
because well, when you go fishing, you use a hook, you use a line and a hook, and sometimes you use a sinker, which is a piece of lead to make sure your line sinks to the bottom、mm-hmm. of the lake, and then the fish can see the bait above the bottom of the lake. You get the idea.、Mm-hmm. So yes, indeed, if you enjoy this activity, you might be hooked on shrimp fishing. So here, in the first paragraph, it says, when you're looking for a truly one of a kind experience in Taiwan, nothing beats indoor shrimp fishing. Cool. Indeed, there are lots of things to do here in Taiwan. Some unique experiences that are special to Taiwan. Chewing betel nut, for example, is something I did many years ago、you、just、did? to try it. But I don't think it's advisable. It can give you mouth cancer and stuff like that. It but, ruins your teeth. Yeah, I met this、uh, Ame woman, and her friend、uh, made me have some betel nut. Oh, they time, forced so, you, huh? Yeah, it gave me a really bad headache, so、Ooh. I never chewed it again. But you know, that's a once of a kind experience that you're not going to have in other countries. And going shrimp fishing is no different. Nothing beats indoor shrimp fishing for a one of a kind, unique, special experience. Yeah, instead of saying one of a kind, you could simply say unique. But、uh, nothing beats indoor shrimp fishing. Tom, I could swear the one time I saw shrimp fishing, it was outside. So maybe I haven't seen the real shrimp fishing. This says it's indoor. Indoor is the adjective form. You could just say、uh, we went indoors and tried shrimp fishing. So going shrimp fishing with your friends. Anything with your friends is fun. Makes for a great day out. Makes for just means, you know, that's how it turns out. That's the kind of experience you have. I could say going on a diet makes for a really miserable week because you can't eat anything you want. True, you got to be fasting and stuff like that in order to lose weight, and then of course Almost, you'll gain、yeah. all those pounds back the next week、no. because you were starving the previous week. <laughs> But in any case, yes,、uh, going shrimp fishing with friends makes for a great day out. It's a great pastime to do on your day off on Saturday or Sunday like that. And here's the word unique. We mentioned that before. Unique just means really special, one of a kind. It's a unique pastime with a delicious result. Pastime, of course, is something that you enjoy to pass the time. Yeah. Like playing baseball. America's greatest pastime is playing baseball, or so they say. So yes, indeed. You get this delicious result. You catch the fish, you catch the shrimp rather, and then you can cook it and eat it. Ooh, that's the best part. I do like to eat shrimp. I've never tried catching any. Seems like it would be kind of hard, but what do I know?、Mm. Anyway, we're gonna explain the process, which is kind of fun. Now, the roots of shrimp fishing. The roots of something just refers to how it got started in the first place, where it originated, like who. Perhaps thought of it first. It, it dates back to the early 1980s, so it's not that old, but it's not something that just was thought up recently either. So, back to the early 80s, when shrimp farmers in Pingdong County started allowing people to fish in their outdoor pools. This is kind of what I saw: people fishing in these outdoor pools that were quite small and only had fish in them. People can't swim in those, but they were doing this way down south in Pingdong County. If you allow people to do something, you let them. Maybe it was not permitted earlier. They probably didn't want amateurs, you know, messing around in their shrimp pools. But they decided, hey, this is another way to get people here. Maybe they would charge a little fee. It's a way to make some more money. I think it's a fun idea. Yeah, and、uh, here they started allowing them to fish in their outdoor pools. You could also say they started to allow people to fish、uh-huh. in their outdoor pools. You can do that as well. They started allowing them. They started letting them, or they started to let people use their outdoor pools. Permitting them, they started permitting exactly、yeah. to fish for shrimp in their outdoor pools. Now, in the late 1980s. You know, you know the early '80s, '88, '89, yeah, yeah. Then the late '80s, shrimp fishing pools moved indoors and expanded into urban areas.、Ah. I don't think they all did. I think some are still outdoors. Yeah, I saw an outdoor one. Some of them are kind of half and half. They're、mm. like they are outdoors, but they're covered inside a building or something.、Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, they don't have air conditioning or something. They、Ooh. might. I don't know. But in any case, they started moving indoors. 
so people in cities could enjoy them, and they expanded into urban areas. Of course, Pingdong is、uh, rural. You know, it's the countryside、True. there. Yeah. And so they started moving these into cities like Taipei, Gaoshong, Taichung, etc. To expand into means they basically increase their business in other parts of the market. Since then, shrimp fishing has become a favorite form of entertainment for city residents. A lot of people, like me, who live in the city, don't get to experience rural life very often, or don't go out to the countryside very often. So it's kind of fun to have some of these elements of country living brought into the city, so you can have fun that way too. So if you're a resident of an area, guys, it simply means you live there. You don't have to be born there. You could be a foreigner and still be a resident of a city. Tom and I are Taipei City residents. It's not my hometown. That's something different. That's where you were born. But just to live in a particular city makes you a resident. And this、uh, does sound fun. I've never done it myself, but、uh, indeed, you could go fishing, have some drinks there, go there with friends and chat and stuff like that.、Be、so fun, indeed,、yeah. it could be some entertainment for city residents、mm -hmm. who are sick and tired of going to shows and plays, and they're tired of going、the、shopping、mall. and fighting <laughs> crowds on the MRT and stuff. Hey, this is a way to imagine that you're out in the country, going fishing and、nice. being close to the natural environment. So here in the next paragraph, it says it's relatively simple. To master the art of shrimp fishing, though some skill and lots of patience are required.、Mm. So yeah, it's relatively simple compared to other things. It's pretty easy to do this. It's probably more difficult, of course, to fish for sharks or sailfish in the ocean. So compared to other kinds of fishing, shrimp fishing is relatively easy. Relative is used when you're comparing things, guys. It may not be simple for everybody, but It is if you're comparing it to some other activities, maybe catching hammerhead shark, or maybe you're out in the ocean trying to catch a big tuna fish. Those are huge. That's hard. You probably need to be a professional for that. But here, you can master the art of shrimp fishing pretty easily. So we're comparing these things. So it's relatively simple. It's not simple, but Compared to other types of fishing, it is. But you need lots of skill for these other activities. Not so much for the shrimp fishing. And patience. Patience is just the ability to not get upset when things don't go right. You know, you're kind of calm through it. You know, you accept other people messing up, and you don't have to yell at everybody just because they're not hurrying up for you or they're not fast enough. Patience is a wonderful characteristic. We want you to be patient, guys. Right now, patient is the adjective form. This is the noun form patience. Be patient. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back to talk more about shrimp fishing. Hello, my name is Shelby. 来看一下台湾特有文化钓虾吧。在第一题的地方 ，It's a unique blank with a delicious result. 这是一个有着美味结果的独特什么？这个空格我们建议填单数名词，因为前面有一个 a。冠词。上一句提到和朋友外出钓虾，可以创造美好的一天。可以推论出钓虾是一种很独特的消遣，所以答案选一、e,。Pastime 名词，消遣。第二题 ，The roots of a shrimp fishing blank the early 1980s。钓虾的源头怎么样子？到一九八零的早期。The roots of a shrimp fishing 是复数主词，所以相对的也要选复数动词来搭配。有提到钓虾的源头时间点是一九八零年代早期，所以答案选 A。Date back to 复数动词追溯到。另外要注意一下，这个句子当中有写到 started allowing 开始允许。也可以写成 started to allow， 这两种意思是一样的。接着我们看到第三题 ，In the late 1980s, shrimp fishing pools moved indoors and expanded into blank areas. 在西元一九八零的后期，钓虾池移至室内，并扩展到怎么样子的地区？这个空格，我们建议填形容词来修饰后面的名词 areas， 呼应上一句“钓虾池移到室内”，以及下一句说“钓虾已成为城市居民的娱乐”。
，所以暗示着从乡下扩展到都市。答案选 D， urban 形容词，都市的。第四题，我们要来看一下是如何钓虾了。It's relatively simple to blank the art of a stream fishing, though some skill and lots of patience are required. 要怎么样子钓虾的技术相当简单，虽然需要一些技巧和耐心。To 之后加原形动词，形成不定词。这个句子后半段提到钓虾需要技巧和耐心，又在下一个句子说明钓虾的装备和步骤。因此，我们可以推知，有了这些条件后，就可以掌握钓虾的技巧。所以，答案选。I master 原形动词掌握。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, so let's continue talking about shrimp fishing again. You can master this art relatively easy compared to other kinds of fishing, but you do need some skill, and you've got to have lots of patience. Of course, if you ever go fishing, you do need to have patience.、True. Fish don't bite every ten seconds. <laughs> Sometimes you can be sitting there for a half hour before you get a nibble. And once you have the equipment, find a spot around the murky pool. So you're going to need a fishing rod, I suppose, some string, a hook, bait, etc. That's your equipment,、mm -hmm. and find a spot. The pool is usually murky. If water is murky, that means you can't really see very far in the water. It's not clear. It's not clean either. Maybe there's lots of、uh, algae in there or、yeah. things like that. So it's quite murky. You don't know where the shrimp are. Don't drink that water, guys.、Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Then attach your bait to the hook at the end of your fishing line. So bait, of course, is what you use to attract the fish. It could be a worm. It could be a piece of meat or something like that. That's bait and. And that, of course, is attached on your hook. You put it on your hook at the end of your fishing line, and then you cast your line into the pool. Right, bait sometimes is fake too. I think the best bait is real things like worms, you know, that the fish can eat. But a lot of the bait that we used when I was growing up would just be pretty looking fake fish or something, tiny fish, you know, but. I think you're more successful if you can get worms. Anyway, what you do is you then attach that bait, as Tom said, to the hook at the end of the fishing line. You have to have a firm grip. When we talk about a grip or gripping something, it can be a noun or a verb.、It、just means you're holding something quite tightly. You know, if it's too relaxed or you're not holding it tight enough, if that fish comes and nibbles or tries to grab your bait. They might grab the fishing pole out of your hand, depending on how big the fish is. Now, shrimp are quite small, so yeah, don't worry. I don't think you need to worry <laughs> about that.、No. But yes, you still need to grip the rod.、Mm. Then you toss the line into the pool. Sometimes that's called casting the line、yeah. into the pool. And then you wait for the float to disappear. The float is a ball that's usually red and white. We call that a bobber where、right. I'm from. Basically, it floats on the top of the water,、uh -huh. and when a fish bites it. Sinks under the water, then you know a fish is biting, and that means you need to kind of pull back on your line quickly to hook it in the fish's mouth, and you can catch the fish. It's a good sign that there's a shrimp going after your bait. If you can feel that tug, you know something's pulling on the line. To go after something means you want something, you see it. And you make it your goal or objective to actually achieve that thing. You can go after success. Maybe you think someone in your class is good looking. You can try going after that pretty girl or going after that handsome guy if you want to. Here, the shrimp are trying to reach the bait and eat it. They don't realize that there's a hook that's going to get them. That's right. So it's a good sign that the shrimp is going after your bait. So carefully lift your line out of the water, take the shrimp off the hook, and then keep it in your net. I think the net will be underwater, so、yeah. the shrimp is still alive,、mm -hmm. and you'll be ready to eat after you catch more of them. I don't know how many you need to I, catch. I think the place I went to there was a limit. 
on okay. how many shrimp you could actually catch and eat. Okay. Oh, you've done this before. No, I just watched. I didn't do it personally, but I was there, and it was kind of interesting. Yeah. Okay. Good、mm-hmm. enough. Fair enough.、Uh, you've done that, and I haven't. But、just、in any case,、yeah. yeah, catch enough shrimp, and I guess they have a limit. And then, of、maybe. course,、yeah. I guess maybe they have chefs there that will cook it for you. They at have the people、end. there. Yeah. So finally, you've arrived at the best part of the shrimp fishing experience. It's time to eat. So you've arrived here. That doesn't mean you're actually going from one place to another.、Mm-hmm. I'm going to arrive in Gaoshong at four this afternoon. Please come to the train station and pick me up. No, in this. Particular case, you've arrived at the best part. Just means it's time for you to have fun. Fishing、Yay. is fun, of course, but the best fun is yet to come. Well, they cook the shrimp for you, and they just season them with salt. Sometimes, when I eat shrimp, I want some sort of dip. A dipping sauce. Usually, it's made out of、uh, tomatoes and maybe some hot sauce in it.、Uh, but here, sounds like they're so fresh. You don't need much; just a little salt. All that's left is to stick them on the grill. Oh, grilled shrimp are the best. You know, sometimes you can pan fry them or you can boil them, but anything grilled tastes better to me. I mean, anything, any vegetable tastes much better if you grill it than just boiling it or cooking it in a pan. Yeah, a grill is a device to cook food. It's just got those metal bars. We use it when we barbecue stuff, guys. Ah,、uh, yeah, yeah, for your mid-autumn festival、mm. barbecue. Of course, you're going to be using a grill. And if you haven't caught enough to make a meal, there's no need to worry. There are plenty of tasty shrimp dishes on the menu to satisfy any appetite and cap off a great night. Cool.、Hmm, that's a relief there. So、Ooh. indeed, if you're fishing and you haven't caught enough shrimp, well, don't worry about it. They have more shrimp there that they can use. Besides, I guess they use all the shrimp they have there on the premises or on the property there to stock the pond with shrimp. If they didn't put live shrimp in the pond. Nobody would be catching anything, and nobody would want to come back and fish there again. So, of course, they need to keep the pond stocked with shrimp.、Mm. So they've got plenty on hand. Don't worry about that. Oh yeah, there's plenty of shrimp. I might be misremembering. That's not a real word. I'm making fun. Misremembering the limit that they put on the shrimp. Maybe there was no limit, but it seemed like there was. You know, because then they'd have to be constantly restocking the pool, right, with、True. new shrimp. But I think they have some. Shrimp in the kitchen too that they can use for people who don't want to actually do shrimp fishing, but they want to eat. You could do that. But this sounds great. They have different tasty shrimp dishes on the menu. You don't have to eat the shrimp with just a little salt. There are probably different ways to prepare the shrimp that will be pleasing to you. I'd probably want a, a dipping sauce myself. But I do like shrimp,、uh, even though they have a lot of cholesterol in them. Be careful, people.、Uh-oh. Yeah, gotta watch out for that.、Yeah. So, indeed, though, sometimes it's a lot of fun to do this. So, sometimes it's、uh, you know it's okay to kind of forget about the food you're eating and don't worry about your diet and just、True. have some fun, enjoy life. That's why we're here. We we won't be here forever. So, this is a great way to indeed enjoy life. And of course,、uh, in this sentence here, we've got the phrase to cap off. Right. Cap usually is something worn. On the top of your head,、mm-hmm. so if you cap off something, that's kind of the highlight, the top part of a great night. That kind of is the climax.、Mm-hmm. It finishes things off. It's probably the best part of the night. The fishing is fun indeed, but the eating is the most enjoyable. Maybe you're out with your friends and you've seen a movie and you want to cap off the night with a drink and you go somewhere to have a drink together. Or you cap off the night by going to a place and having dessert. That would be my choice. So it's a great idea if you need some entertainment and you've never done this before. I would definitely recommend it. Why not grab some friends and head to a shrimp fishing pool sometime soon? Why not? Sounds like a great idea. Right now, guys, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher one more time, and then we'll be back to say goodbye. Then. Blank five. You are bait to the hook at the end of your fishing line. 接下来把你的饵怎么样子在钓线的尾端。这一句没有动词，所以填原形动词放在句首，形成祈使句。句子中提到饵和钓钩，推测呢是将饵绑在钓钩上。答案 If attach 原形动词绑或系。
。第六题 ，Keeping a and blank grip on the rod, toss the line into the pool and wait for the float to disappear under the water. 空格后面是名词 grip， 所以空格放形容词来修饰 grip， 表示是怎么样子的握着。而这句话提到钓竿，把线抛到水中，并等待浮标消失，这一连串的动作都不能轻易松开钓竿啊，表示手必须牢牢的握住钓竿。所以我们答案选 C firm， 形容词牢牢的。第七题 ，It's a good blank。That there's a shrimp going after your bait. 有只虾子追着你的饵跑，是一个好的什么？这个空格可以填单数名词，因为前面有个 a 冠词。那上一句又提到浮标消失水面下，这一句的后半段有一只虾子追着饵跑。紧接而来的下一句又是延续说明，要小心的将钓线拉出水面。从这三点，我们可以推论：虾子上钩，浮标消失。是一个好的迹象，所以答案选 G sign 名词迹象。第八题 ，skewer your freshly caught shrimp and blank them with salt， 将新鲜的虾子串起来，用盐巴怎么样子？这个应该要填原形动词，由对的连接词 and 连接前面的原形动词，将虾子串起来，并提到盐巴。下一句还说要把它放到烤架上烤。所以答案选 B. Season, 原形动词调味。第九题 There are plenty of tasty shrimp dishes on the menu to satisfy any blank and cap off a great night. 菜单上有许多美味的虾料理，可以满足任何什么，并有个美好夜晚。这个空格建议放名词，在 satisfy 及物动词的后面当做受词。上一句提到没有足够的虾，也不用担心。菜单上有很多虾料理，可以满足任何的胃口，所以答案选 J. Appetite 胃口。第十题 ，Why not grab some friends and blank a shrimp fishing pool sometime soon？ 何不尽快找几个朋友一起怎么样子钓虾池？这个空格应该填原形动词，由对等连接词 and 连接前面的原形动词 grab。Grab 是动词，找几个朋友就说 Grab some friends。这一句空格提到约朋友出去，因此可以推论出和朋友前往钓虾场。所以答案选 H。Head to 前往。以上是今天的说明，谢谢收听。All right, everybody. That brings us to the end of our lesson for today. We've talked about a great pastime here in Taiwan: shrimp fishing. Yeah. At those indoor pools, I think they're outdoors as well. I think they're probably more numerous in the center and south because, gee, I don't see them so much anymore here in Taipei. Or、But、maybe that doesn't in mean Jilong, they're not around. Be, yeah, yeah. Jilong would probably have maybe quite a few. Maybe in Xi'an or Taoyuan. Who knows?、Mm, But、no. uh, in any case, hopefully, we've given you some ideas about what to do this weekend. So have fun. Grab those friends. And go to a shrimp fishing pool sometime soon.、Cool. Thank you for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Bye. Bye.